In this video, let us understand the relationship between your average cost and marginal cost. Let us make a table again. Output 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Your total cost 10, 20, 28, 34, 38, 42, 48, 56 and 72. This was the table we did earlier. So this is the same table I'm taking. We can calculate your two. Mm, average cost and marginal cost easily from this we have done in the previous video how to calculate your average cost marginal cost so this is marginal cost this is your average cost we'll be taking so first let's calculate your marginal cost your marginal cost will be nothing at this 20 minus 10 10 28 minus 28 34 Minus 8 gives you 6 and then 38 minus 34 gives you 4. 42 minus 8 gives you 4. 48 minus 46. 56 minus 8 gives you 8 and then 32 minus 56 gives you 16. Let's calculate your average cost 10 by divided by 0 is infinity. Then your 20 by 1 is 20, 28 by 2 is your 14, 34 by 3 is your 11.3, 38 by 4 is 9.5 somewhere, 42 by 5 gives you 8.4, 48 by 6 gives you 8 and then 56 minus 7 gives you 8 and then 72 by 8 gives you 9. Let us make the graph now. Your x-axis, your y-axis, on y-axis you will take all of your costs and on x-axis you will take your output. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So on y-axis, let us take uh, on the scale of, let's say, 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Let us first take your marginal cost and then average cost. At unit 1, your marginal cost is 10. At unit 2, your marginal cost is 8, somewhere there. At unit 3, your marginal cost is 6. At unit 4, your marginal cost is 4. At 5 also, it is 4. At 6 unit, it is 8 somewhere. Here. 8. At 7 unit, it is 8 again. Oh, sorry. Uh, your marginal cost at 6 unit is 6. It is here. Easy more at this point. At 7 unit it is 8. At 8 units it is 16. This we have got the points of your marginal cost. First point and then second point and then third point. Then fourth point, fifth point, and on six it is six point, then seventh point, and then eighth point. So this is
your marginal cost curve. Now let us make your average cost curve. At one unit it is 20. So it's 20 at unit 1. It is 14 somewhere here at unit 2. At unit 3 it is 11.3 somewhere here. At unit 4 it is 9.5 here. At unit 5 it is 8.4. At unit 6, it is 8. At unit 6, it is 8. At unit 7, it is 8. And at unit 8, it is 9. So we've got the point one, two, three, four, and then five, and then six, and then seven, and then eight. These are the points we've got. So this is your average cost curves you come and make, right? So these are the two curves you have made your marginal cost curve and your average cost curve. Now let's see the relationship between your average cost and the marginal cost curve. Number one, both AC and MC are calculated from your total cost. So AC and MC calculate calculated from total cost that this is your total cost you have calculated your MC you have calculated your AC so this is the relationship second relationship we will have when AC falls MC is lower than AC when AC falls MC is lower then AC. See, your AC curve is falling from here, right? Your MC curve is also falling but it is lower, right? This is lower. So your AC is falling, your MC is lower than AC. Third, when AC rises, your MC is greater than AC. See when if from here your AC starts rising, your MC is greater than AC. Four points, MC cuts AC at its lowest. When MC is lowest, it cuts AC. So here the MC is lowest at right. So it cuts it cuts the lowest of AC that is eight. The lowest of AC is eight. So MC cut AC at its lowest. So a AC cuts lowest is eight point eight units. So it cuts AC here. So both are the lowest points, so it will be it is cutting AC at 7th unit. So AC low is lowest at, at its 7th unit. So MC is cutting AC at its lowest. So this is the relationship between your AC and MC curve, and this is again a very important question that is asked in your CBSC boards. I hope you like the video.
please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us